lot of people say that if you wanna know what someone's gonna look like when they're older, just look at their parents. Now, in my case, I really hope that's not true because... <laughs> I'm kidding, all right? Mom, dad, I love you. You're beautiful. You rock. Yeah. Okay, back to what I was saying. Now, would I ever be so shallow, so heartless, that I would actually look at a girl's mom to try and figure out what she's gonna look like when she's, you know, 60? No. No, I would never do that. I probably have done that before, okay? And in all seriousness, that's usually why I back out. <laughs> I'm kidding. Look, babe, I really like you and I, I, we have such a great thing going, but I saw your mom last night at the dinner and, well, I don't think this is gonna work out. I would never do that. I would never do that. I came across a video by the channel Nectar and it's called Blind Dating Six Girls by Moms. So while I think the guy in this video looks like the type of guy that wants to date your mom, I think he's just gonna be speaking to them about their children. Children was a bad choice of words. I shouldn't have said children. I'm not trying to date their children. Well, I guess he technically is. I and mean, that sounds a little pedophilic. Is that even a word, pedophilic? I don't know. Okay, so let's watch this guy do something that I would never do, which is talk to a girl's parents because I never get that far. My name's Caleb. My mom's pretty much everything to me. She's always been there in the tough times and I think her as an individual she's just someone that I look up to on all aspects of life she's she's my everything so Caleb's a mama's boy and I respect that because I also love my mom and you know what you should love your mom too because guess what you came out of her you were inside your mom yes exactly exactly not like that I mean some people may have I mean I don't oh man this is real oh my gosh hi my name is Caleb um, yeah, uh, describe your daughters to me. Hi, um, my daughter is Kaylee. She's spontaneous, she's adventurous, but she's also responsible and she's just kind, genuinely kind. Okay, so I'm at a critical point in this video where I have to decide if I want to predict whether or not the daughter is going to be good looking by how the mom looks. That is a completely inappropriate thing to do and I'm going to do it. Let's start off with Kaylee's mom. Kaylee's mom, really, I mean, I think Kaylee's going to be a nice looking girl. I'm going to throw that out there. I think Kaylee's going to be a piece. Bad mama jama. <laughs> Bad man jamma, dude. Grace, I would describe as confident. Confident, love that. Loyal, very intelligent, and just uh, very kind-hearted. Cool. Kind of up in the air on how I feel about Grace. Looking at Grace's mom, beautiful. You know, she's beautiful um, just in a different way. You love to see that, though. What I really want is one of these moms to be like, yo, my daughter's a piece. You know what I'm saying? She got a fat ass and <laughs> Tickle bitties and all that. Nice hair, smells good. I just want these moms to be honest, you know? Like, if the daughter's not good looking, just tell me. Like, no hard feelings or anything, but then I could just kick you off, you know? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. My daughter's Elisa. She loves the outdoors. She loves animals. Very active. Sweet. She's incredible. She's super independent, smart. I'm really happy to have her in my life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think we're done playing the game of uh, whether or not the daughter's gonna be attractive based off the mom. Just don't wanna hurt anybody's feelings, you know, that's all. Lila is very spiritual. She loves nature. She loves like yoga. Yeah, she's not the type of a person that goes out a lot. Yeah. You know. I love talking about her, just so you know. Um, she's a gamer girl. She loves arcades, super outgoing, bubbly. I believe she won, um, in high school, like the funniest girl in school. Oh, wow. So she's pretty funny yeah. and she loves hard. She loves hard. What does that mean? Stumped. I don't know. What does that mean? She loves hard. She loves hard what? <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, my daughter, she loves it hard. You know what I mean? Just wants it hard, enjoys it when it's hard. No, I don't even, I don't know, dude. I don't know what's going on. What would be like an ideal day for your daughter and what would she like to be doing on a day-to-day -day basis? Music festivals. Oh, okay. <laughs> she loves concerts and uh, festivals. That's just a part of who she is. Mm -hmm. Her absolute favorite would be the sun and the beach. Sweet, okay. I'd pick that too. That's <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, she's <laughs> You know, the mom's trying to get in on this. She's like, yeah, I know I'm here for my daughter, but like, hold on a second. Hey, we got room for one more, like one more contestant. I'll bring my mom up here. She's 95. She'll sit here. I'll go in the back. Cause this guy's stash is really getting me going right now. I hate going off with somebody else that she loves concerts, but she also is just as comfortable being out there going on a hike or going camping. Go out, have fun, something after me, play golf. Yeah, take in yeah. a movie. Awesome. Cool. She go to a musical fest, like a nice concert. She would love that. She would, likes to try anything once. So I think that you guys would figure it out in the car, to be honest with you. Question. Uh, you said she likes to try anything once. Um, 
How does she feel about <laughs> joking? I'm joking. Or am I? It kind of sucks, but I guess this is how it goes. Um, oh man. Um, before I eliminate. What's up with that one woman? <laughs> <laughs> Why is she staring at him like that? Why did this just turn into a horror movie? I just want to say like, yeah, it's tough. Like this is really not hard. And this is really hard. So, uh, but my elimination would be five. Yeah, so. Yeah, oh, the me? Yeah. Yes, yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hello. Lila. <laughs> I don't know where to look. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> just kind of like hang out. <laughs> you guys look very similar. Yeah. Well, yes. I'm glad okay. you guys came. Thank you. Yeah, Thank of course. You. Thank of course. You. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks for listening. Bye. Oh my god. That is, that is awkward. That is like my eyes are bleeding and my brain is slowly exploding inside my skull. Look, I mean, to be honest with you, she looked really sweet, really cute, and um, he's gonna have to send him home. Why am I explaining the rules? I don't know. What would you say is the best memory that you and your daughter have had together? Just last year, we went to Coachella together. Oh, nice. That was our first uh, festival together. So that was a lot of fun, just dancing with her and just being a part of <laughs> I went to Coachella with the daughter. <laughs> they did acid together, you know, butt chugs. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea what goes on at Coachella, but that just seems like not the type of thing you do with your mom. Like we talked about the beach earlier, it always makes me chuckle because when she was little, she wouldn't put her feet in the sand. Like you would go to sit her down and her little feet would go up like this, so I'd have to carry her everywhere. Oh, okay. But that's like one great loving memory. Yeah. We go on vacation a lot together. Um, I mean, that to me is the most important thing that I, she just hasn't lost that interest in still doing things with her mom. <laughs> this woman is so sweet, but she's really freaking me out. <laughs> she's really giving me like woman in a horror movie that's like low key possessed vibes. She comes off like I'm super sweet. Really, I got a demon deep down. There's something going on with me. Um, I would say one of the exciting times I've had with her, fun times, creative times, was doing uh, three film submissions. That was really fun and seeing the editing process and all of that and just everybody participating with her and her creativity was just infectious. I was a teen mom with Lizzie, so every moment is super cherished to me, right? It, it was super crucial for the both of us. But my favorite is when I took her to Mexico for the first time. I, it, it was just so vibrant and seeing her reaction like when she does something for the first time that those are my favorite memories of her why does he keep looking to the left are you seeing that like every time he's looking over here his eyes go like this what is he looking at over there i think he's eyeing down the woman on the end hey buddy we're here for the daughters have some respect mill for no milf okay <laughs> mill for no milf i know i have a lot of memories of my mom and so just being able to have that and see the smile and how you guys brighten up when you guys explain it it's really sweet mom, it's your turn, so. Oh gosh. How's your relationship with your family? I'm glad you asked. Um, it's just funny that he said, I'm glad you asked. That's the type of thing you say before you just rip apart your family. Oh, you wanna know about my family? Well, I'm glad you asked. Well, see, my dad's a complete doucher. My mom, bitch. Brother, fuck him. <laughs> That's not true about me, and it's just reciting what I thought he was gonna say. I had a divorced family when I was growing up, so at the age of eight, my parents split up, and so I have been close with my mom more so. As time goes on, like, I feel like that's one of my biggest values is just finding like someone who I can really rely on. So in a relationship, I think it's a give and take. Mm -hmm. So are you willing to compromise and you know make it a give and take relationship? Because a lot of people like to do a lot of taking and not so much giving. It's like, no, definitely more of a taker. Some people actually call me the undertaker. This give and take thing you're talking about doesn't resonate with me. I agree with that. My philosophy when it comes to dating, it's not 50-50, it's 100-100. Oh, wow, and so yeah. how are we gonna work together Together to make sure this is gonna work. Good answer. Yeah, Tell you, you really like I don't, I don't know if I have. A, I think you, the, you, the way you describe yourself and how you answer these questions, you have so much similarities to my daughter. You guys are like right there for real. <laughs> like I'm dead ass. Like That's I can't. So you know, I'm dying to lie. I mean, hey, it I is what it is. Oh. Yeah. Hey, That's words don't teach. Hey. Life experience does. Yeah. You just yeah. gotta take the be about All it. Right, That's cool. it. For real, you're great. <laughs> my boy, you good. You're good to go. Cool. 
Love it. I like Asia's mom. I like that she hypes up her daughter a lot, and I also like that she, you know, I like her. Actually, I have to have you eliminate two more. You're killing me here. Oh, two? I'm like, any last words? <laughs> <laughs> All right, like, I know I'm joking around a lot, but I give this guy a lot of credit. Like, this is actually super hard. First, uh, I'm gonna go with two. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> I'd rather you follow your heart. Okay, that's thank you. Oh, man. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, I'm Caleb. Grace. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Oh, right. man. Well, thanks for coming. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Nice meeting you. <laughs> of course. Oh, no, dude. Just don't know. You, know. you look at a mom and you think you know. You don't know. You know what, though? It shouldn't be more a shame because the girl's, you know, attractive. But it is. And I, <laughs> and I know it's horrible. It feels worse. And that's fucked up. Oh, uh, all right. Um, and then four. I'm sorry. Oh. It's okay. Oh. Hi. Come <laughs> oh. here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Like, she was given such good vibes. Maybe he thought she was overhyping the daughter because the mom knows maybe the daughter is just, you know, okay. <laughs> maybe she was overhyping her daughter. Maybe he wasn't feeling the vibes that I was feeling. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Oh man, this <laughs> is tough. <laughs> <laughs> my mom, I mean, she knows me like the back of her hand. Like we're best friends, yeah. so I feel like everything she said was pretty spot on. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He's dope though. He's yeah. really dope. <laughs> Just BTW, yeah, by thank the way. You. Whew. you know what? She does look exactly like the mom. That's wild. They could be sisters. Did he make a good choice? That's for you to decide. Write down in the comment section if you think he made a good choice or not. A question that I have for the girls directly. In the past year or so, what's the biggest lesson that you've learned about yourself, about, you know, life? So, contestant number one? Okay. <laughs> uh, in the past year, I've learned to 100% be myself in all situations and not be afraid to put myself out there. I feel like in the past I was very insecure and unsure of myself. In the past year and a half, I've really just become so much more confident, more loving of myself. It's like the mom turns around and she's like, no, it's not the right answer. It's the fucking answer. <laughs> Why the fuck would you even say that? What are you stupid? Throws out all the positive shit she just said about her daughter and just like completely obliterates her. I would say that in the past year, I have learned really to not care what other people think of me and to be really independent. I feel like I used to be really independent in high school and then I kind of lost it with COVID. I started to get really shy again. But since, you know, the past year, I have really started to be independent again, doing things by myself, you know, going out, saying yes to everything. And yeah. I would say this past year, um, I did go through quite a bit of hardships and I learned so many things about myself. I went on this journey of self-love, self-discovery. They all gave the same exact answer. Like if I was the third girl, I would have just thrown some shit against the wall. Like biggest lesson I learned this year was fucking hop keto, taekwondo. Rode a fucking Harley Davidson through the desert from here to Antarctica. Learned how to take down an elephant with my bare hands. The mom's just sitting there like, what the fuck? <laughs> when did she do that? Any last pitches to convince him to pick your dog? <laughs> oh, pressure again. Oh, man. One thing that I do want to highlight about Lizzie is that even if things don't work out, like you still gain something from her. You never know what you're going to get, but I'm here telling you she's good. You still gain something from her. What is she talking about? Like, I was even watching his face and he was just like, what the fuck is she talking about? Lizzie's mom might have just thrown the whole contest away with that answer. Talk about blowing a 3-1 lead. I mean, I hope Lizzie's in the back like, I can't believe this. <laughs> Gosh, man. <laughs> uh, it'll be number one. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. I am so surprised by that. No way. Honestly, I probably would have picked her because she didn't oversell. She didn't undersell. Although she did go to Coachella with her daughter and do copious amounts of God knows what. Oh, this is tough. This is so tough. Gosh, it's so hard. It's so hard. Oh, yeah, give me a hug. Hi. Hi. I'm Kaylee. Nice to meet you, Nice Caleb. to meet you. Yeah. Thanks for coming yeah, out. Yeah, of course. Yeah. She answered a lot better than I thought she did. Yeah, <laughs> she was so, so nervous, nervous before. Hi. Thank you. It was a really cool experience and I loved like hearing my mom's responses and what she had to say about me. I don't know what to say, but uh, 
She has red hair. You saw the red hair. I'm just saying it again. You decide. You know what? I'll leave it up for you to decide. Next elimination. Oh my gosh. V2. Oh. He went with crazy eyes. I, I can't believe it. I think she had him in like a, a trance. You know what I mean? That's who he was looking at. She was like deep inside of his soul when she was talking to him. How can you compete with that? It's okay. Uh. It's nice oh. to get you to know you guys. Yeah, absolutely. Hi. Hello. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Caleb. Caleb, I'm Lizzie. Yeah, nice to meet you. Damn, dude. Yeah. I'm not laughing at the girl, it's just the outfit. You know what I mean? The glasses, like coming through like Anderson Pock. Really wasn't expecting that to come around the corner, but it did. Came around looking like Silk Sonic. She did so good. Honestly, she hyped me up. This is my biggest wing woman right here. <laughs> Even when I'm at home, she's like, Liz, I think this guy is super cute for you. Like, do you want me to, you know, Put in a good word. See, that's what I need in my life. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what I'm missing in my life. Like a wing parent, a wing mom. She's taller than me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Hey, Hello. Hi. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Can I get a hug? Yeah, of course. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice I'm Elisa. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Cool, well, thanks for coming out. That Thank was real you. fun. Um, do you feel like you played a little bit of matchmaker? I do. I felt I had a big part of this. <laughs> and I'm very impressed. I think he's a great guy. Thank you. Okay, well, I guess that's the end of that. It was kind of like this roller coaster ride up, but we didn't ever really get like a big payoff drop, and we never got that. We kind of just went up like this and then just leveled out. That has nothing to do with the way that the girls looked. <laughs> okay. But overall, I think he did an amazing job. I think the girls were beautiful. I think the moms were beautiful. You can never go wrong with a beautiful mom. <laughs> okay, that's it. That was fun. Get out of here. I'll see you later.